What is up, you fine and fabulous people? My name here is Frozen Train. As always, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. This time, last time, what did we do? We took down Giovanni as well as got our self scope from the Hidden Team Rocket Base here in Celadon City's Casino. And uh, this time, we're actually going to go ahead and head over to Lavender Town and take out, finish off the Ghost Tower, which we had to leave because we did not have the self scope. However, first of all, let us go over our party because there are some differences, as you can see in the grinding montage. We've got Yif, the Growlithe, now, or, ha, huh, he's not even a Growlithe, this is straight up an Arcanine now. Um, I went ahead and I bought a Firestone from the Celadon City Department Store, is what it's called, it's called Department Store. And we're using Yif, the Arcanine now. Um, I went and got him leveled up off screen. Originally I had, like, a vote for you guys to tell me which Pokemon to replace. However, Beedrill died, or Beegood died in the last episode. And coincidentally, actually, coincidentally, Beegood was the Pokemon that people voted off. Like, he was the Pokemon that the majority wanted us to remove. There's also a vote for Shakurla. Um, someone want, some people wanted us to remove uh, Shakurla. Shakurla, the Arbok. The Arbok. And, um, since people wanted Shakurla gone, I'm actually probably going to end up replacing Shakurla as well as a result. Goni, people, I guess people just seem to love Goni because no one vote, no one wanted Goni off. Goni gets to stay. Goni's, Goni has earned her share, earned her keep of the team. So Yip is going to be a permanent party member for now, at the very least. Shakurla, going to probably end up getting replaced for Dylan. The Vaporeon is what it's going to end up being. However, not quite yet. I don't, um, I have not taken the time to level it up. I'm not going to take the time to level it up quite yet. I'll do that probably in a future episode. Um, however, however, I came to the casino and before recording this, I, <laughs> oh, I, uh, I got a little bit of a gambling addiction in this game. I just, I kept playing and I kept winning and I just kept winning and I just couldn't stop and now I've got maximum coins. So as a result, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to buy a Porygon for our team. And this will be our sixth party member as far as I know. And now, if you follow me on Twitter, I actually, while I was just uh, going through the casino, I didn't record the casino grinding because there's no need to record that. Like, there's no real way I can cheat that as far as I know. I mean, if a, a Pokemon dies, how's a Pokemon going to fucking die in that? They're not. So, I didn't bother recording that. But I did go ahead and like spend like an hour and a half getting to max coins, and obviously I can buy a Porygon now. And on Twitter, while I was doing this, I was like, hey guys, I'm probably going to end up at a Porygon at this rate. Uh... If anyone wants to send me nicknames, go ahead and send me some nicknames. So, the nickname I'm going to end up going with was given to me by, uh, I believe it was a Dr. YouTube Gamer. I'll pull, I can pull up their actual name here in just a sec. Just give me one second. Okay, let me go ahead and pull this up. Yep, okay. So, it was, in fact, a Dr. YouTube Gamer who gave me this, uh, gave me Virus as the name. I believe they put it in all caps, but I'm not going to put it in all caps because I don't really like doing that. So, Virus is going to be our Porygon's name. Thank you for that name, uh, it's a place in box one. We're not going to be using it just yet, because I do believe we need to level it up. Um, let's go check in, let's go actually check out what level it starts at. I believe it's going to start at around level 20, because our EV starts at level 25. I believe it will probably be somewhere around that level as well. Uh, let's go ahead and move Pokemon. Let's see. Level 26. Level 26. That's a really weird level to start at. Level 26. Why 26 of all levels? Anyway, we've got Agility, Psybeam, Recover, and Sharpen. That's actually a pretty good set so far. Um, this is going to be our Pokemon that's going to be doing, like, fucking uh, good, 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 good moves. Like, it's very good it's like psychic moves and such. So that's going to be nice. That's going to be pretty good. Um, actually, I, I might be able to just add him to my team right now. No, 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 because I've got my cut. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. I have an HM Slave. Speaking of HM Slaves, before we head over to Lavender Town... Let's head over here real quick because there's something very important that we can do if we head just outside of town. Um, we can come right to this tree here, cut this little bitch down. We don't even need this down in our way, so let's go ahead and get rid of it. And over here, I'm going to ignore those trainers because I believe those are trainers who will battle us. I don't want to fight them right this moment. Not in the mood to deal with them. However, this house here, this house has a very important item in it. It uh, has a, what is this? Is that a Sphero? It's a Fero. Oh. I always was under the impression that fear would be much larger than that. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Yes, indeed I did. In fact, I knew about it beforehand. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. HMO2. That is fly. 
which will allow us to fly to any of our destinations that we any of the previously visited cities that we've been to and I believe that our cut slave can conveniently learn it because our cut slave is actually is actually a bird type yes it can Chading can in fact learn it just go ahead and download the HM straight into our brain here and we learn fly download the information into your noggin and then you may travel However, there's one last thing I want to do here before we leave Celadon City. Something I almost forgot because I was actually <laughs> I was actually about to fly. Oh no! Sometimes the intensity of love scares me. Oh. Doesn't it scare us all though? The young couple, Leia and Jed. Jed. Jedediah. Rapidash and Ninetales. That is a very not well thought. Oh Ormondo, what are you doing, man? Why are you out here right now? We don't need you, Armando. Armando, please don't don't appear in front of fire types ever again like that. Oh, I wasn't quite. Oh, I was not prepared for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use Yif and Gonzalez here to take out these Rapidash and Nine Tails. That's some like crazy like. That's a pretty. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was like me using a fire type like move. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't pick a fire type move. What's going on right now? But I'm actually kind of surprised we're seeing a Nine Tails and a Rapidash right here as like just regular trainer Pokemon. And they're level 29 too. These things, these two trainers are as powerful as the gym leader we just got done with. And since these trainers are fire type, they could probably take out the gym. That is some craziness right there. The fact that just two random trainers in the same town as a gym are more powerful than the gym. That's pretty uh, that's pretty dangerous, actually. Pretty, pretty powerful. And Ormondo gained a level. Ormondo gained a level for not participating. Good going, man. You actually, you earned it. You really worked hard for that one. Hope you, uh, hope you appreciate it. Just gonna go ahead and tackle attack, or quick attack, I should say. It's not a tackle at all. Well. It's a very fast tackle if you really think about it. Like the animation for a quick attack is technically just him tackling it. Oh, but Jed looks so cool in a little loss. I don't really care. Whoa! Whoa! Dun, 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 dun. Big things are happening down in Celadon City where the grass gets larger and grows much greener. Venusaur! Ormando! Oh my lord, I was not anticipating that. I did not realize we were that close to that level. 32! I thought it was 34. 32, man. Wow. That is... That is not bad right there. Look at that. We got ourselves a Venusaur now. That's actually... That's a good way to start this episode, I feel. That's a pretty, pretty good way to get ourselves into an episode. Get Normando a little bit higher level. And here we have Snorlax. Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. But there's not really much we can do about him right now. That's actually the reason why we need the Silver Scope, and the entire reason why the Lavender Tower is not optional. It is not optional entirely because we have to go through there. We have to go through that area or the other area, which leads to Fuchsia. However, both areas are blocked inconveniently by Snorlax. For some reason, they just love to block the roads. However, I need to come here and obtain the tea. That's an important key item. Nothing beats thirst like tea. And unfortunately, fucking Uncle Fairy. And that was actually, that was not in the original Red and Blue games. That's only something they added for Fire Red and Leaf Green. I'm not entirely sure why they added it at all, actually. Because, oh, I have, I have fly. I have fly, guys, I have fly! I don't even need to like run. Oh, I can finally embrace my inner like lazy. Love it. Then my Pokemon do the work that they always needed to do, and then the music change is like so off-putting, it just goes from such happy music. Like just listen to this transition from the Pokemon Center straight into the, go ahead and fast forward through that. I probably shouldn't fast forward as much as I do, but I'm trying to use the run button a little bit more. Anyway, listen to this transition, got such happy, happy Pokemon music, and then instantly dark. Instantly. It's just, that transition is like so off-putting. It's just like, oh my god, that's right, I'm here. And then you've got the Pokemon Tower, which is... I love the theme here. This is just some great music. And we have not actually encountered any Pokemon here, have we? We have not encountered a single 
a single encounter yet. So we actually have our... Do I have any Pokeballs? Do I have Pokeballs? Before I do it, five Pokeballs. That, that, whatever, that's enough, that's enough. I'm not gonna bother needing to get any more. Um, I'm gonna let... I'm gonna go ahead and let Yif lead the pack here for a bit. Uh, because he has... Most of the Pokemon we're gonna be fighting here are Ghost-type. And he actually does have Bite. So, he's a pretty good choice. And I do kind of want to get him a little bit more experience, a little bit more levels. Unfortunately, I was kind of... I made a bit of a... A poor choice of... Choices. And I leveled him up, or I evolved him at level 30. As opposed to 31. Why did I just Ember? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I believe... I don't know if... I know that Growlithe at level 31 learns Flame Wheel, but I'm not sure if Arcanine does. Arcanine may not learn any more moves once it evolves. So I may have evolved it a little early, and that may be like my downfall, because it will not learn Flame Wheel now. But if that is the case, if that is the case, and I don't get Flame Wheel at level 31, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to end up taking my ass back down to that casino, gambling some more, and getting some good old TMs, because I actually got to do that anyway. Because I've got quite a few TMs that I want to get. Oh, what's over there? Unfortunately, I'm going to be speeding up. Oh, this is our first encounter here, isn't it? Um, unfortunately, every single thing that I have is going to one-shot this. I already know it. I already know it. So I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at it. And see if I can catch it this way. I could not. And now it's going to curse itself. So I'm going to throw one more Pokeball at it. See if I can catch it. I do! Okay. That's pretty cool. Managed to catch Ghastly. A being that exists as a thin gas, it can topple an Indian elephant by enveloping the prey in two seconds. But where in the Pokemon world are Indian elephants? Where is India in the Pokemon world? I don't know, guys. I've never heard of this India place. Have you? I just, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and name this guy, uh. I'm just gonna go ahead and name him Dark. You know, if I'm gonna name him Dark, I may as well just go as dark as I can get, huh? I'm just gonna go ahead and name him, all caps, J. What does his name fit on here? Oh my god, his name fits! <laughs> Jay's name actually fits on there, that's kinda of funny. It fits just perfect. Alright, so there's Jay. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna use Jay, unfortunately, I'm just gonna keep him boxed forever. He gets cursed with an eternity of boxing. I feel like ghost type Pokemon should be immune to Nuzlocke's because I mean, you can't really die if you are be dead, so. But they're not. Nonetheless, I guess that's where the releasing comes into handy, but. I've got a death box because I like to look at all my fallen bo fallen allies. I can't even say fallen foes. Wow, I can't believe I used the word foes. I clearly dislike all of the Pokemon I actually have if I'm referring to them as foes. I haven't got $736. I haven't even been paying attention to my money. I gotta have a decent amount of, like, cash piled up yet. Let's see. I got $18,000 saved up. I could actually move out of my, like, I could move out of my mom's house, get a town, and, like, get, like, a house in, like, Vermilion City or something. Like, the big league, you know, sit back, chill, and, like, take over Vermilion Gym. Gym? Gym? I just call it Gym. I could take over Vermilion Gym for Giovanni, you know, like, kick him out, be like, hey! Team Rocket, ha ha, no more work for you. I'm here to do what I do best, win. And I'm here to keep people out of the Pokemon League. And I'm gonna be the champion. That'd be such a douche move, like a fucking Pokemon champion went back to his like hometown and become, became a gym leader. I'm the Pokemon champion. Now you're never gonna get past my gym. Because hey, you gotta beat a champion to get to a lesser champion now. Are we gonna get Flame Wheel? Are we? No! We are not getting Flame Wheel. Okay. So maybe we'll get it at a later level, because I know that at times when you have a uh, Pokemon who you level up, you get Pokemon moves later in evolu- like, higher evolutions get the same moves later on in levels, like a Pokemon that's like Squirtle will get like Water Gun or like level, I don't know, 14, whereas, say a Wartoad will get like level 16, that's pretty good. So maybe Gra maybe Arcanine's doing the same thing, but I'm pretty sure Arcanine just does not get any other moves after it evolves. And so I will probably end up needing to get a TM for Flamethrower here in a little bit. Probably not in this episode. Who are you? Come, child, I have purified the space. You can rest here for good. Thank you. 
Enter the purified and protected zone. Pippin's Pokemon were fully healed. And I got a cleanse tag. Just stole. I just stole the tag she was using to cleanse the area. That area is no longer pure. I just removed the charm that made it pure. Channeler Karina. Karina sent out Ghastly. Go Yiff! It really does kind of bother me, like how little variation in everything there is in this area. I really wish that this area had like a little bit more in it. Like as far as Pokemon is concerned, like I don't know. It, it, uh, one thing I really don't like about this remake is that you have to go through the entire game to get the National Dex, which I understand, I completely understand the reason for that, being that it's a remake and you don't really need that, but I feel like you should have an option for that kind of stuff, maybe? I don't know, maybe it's just me not really thinking it through all the way, but I would have liked it a lot more if we could have found other ghost types here a lot sooner. We've run into Ghastly after Ghastly after Ghastly after Ghastly after Ghastly, and just, it's not... It's not very, like, exciting. You don't, you're not, you're not seeing anything new. You're not getting anything out of it, really. And it's not like Ghastly gives much experience anyway. I think you can, I think you can actually run into Haunter here, though. If I'm not mistaken, it's rare, but I'm pretty sure you can run into Haunter. It's like a very, very low percent chance, though. Angelica. Angelica. I always love the names of some of these characters. Some characters have some wonderful names. I keep, like, ugh. Mashing A is, like, a terrible thing to do sometimes, and... Then again, so is speeding up in general, because speeding up just like, that's when you start making all the mistakes that you wouldn't normally make. Got an X accuracy. That's, the X items, like, the X items are by far, in my opinion, in my opinion, they are like the most useless items in the game. Because they take a turn to use, they only raise your stats by like one stage. It's basically just like using like a growl move, but in item form. Except, instead of lowering the opponent's, uh, I think Growl lowers the opponent's strength, so instead of lowering the opponent's strength, you're raising your own strength, or you're raising your own attack, or accuracy, or whatever. And X accuracy, that's just like, who the hell is gonna use an X accuracy? I mean, God, really? Who will use that? If you're level 32, 32, defeat Jennifer, and we're gonna move our way down to, almost, we're actually, we're actually almost done with this place already, that's pretty good. I really don't like this place that much. This place is scary, guys. It's scary. Ah, oh, it's so spooky. You got the fog. You got these women. Oh, that's probably the most terrifying thing is that we're surrounded by women, man. I just... I don't know if I can handle that one. I don't know. I mean, have you seen the way these women look at me? Look at me like I'm possessed or some shit. Look at her. God, her eyes are horrifying eyes. Jesus. Ugh. Her eyes... Her eyes are horrifying. Upon looking at you, you turn into a whore. Wild ghastly appeared. What a... What a surprise. I, uh... I could not have foreseen that one. Not if I had been a goddamn fortune teller. Found a rare candy. That will come in handy for training up either the Porygon or something. It'll come in handy for racing something up a level. That's what I've been using those rare candies for. I've just been, like, using them to help make the grinding montage just a little bit faster. I'm actually going to go ahead real quick and I'm going to switch into Ormando because we are about to, we are, we are, we are, we are about to perf, perfect language, Tom. Good job. Good going. You got it well. Good going. The ghost appeared. Now this, this right here is exactly what would have happened if we had not had the silk scope. We would have encountered ghosts. Meantime, however, we've got the ghost was Marowak. We heard from the other, from the uh, woman in the house in Lavender Town, how the Cubone's mother was killed by Team Rocket. This is that Cubone's mother. This is the ghost of that Cubone. And one of the more interesting things about this is that if you use a Pokeball on this Pokemon, it just straight up dodges it. It just, it doesn't even, it doesn't even get affected. And that's not just like a 1 in 10 chance or something. That is every chance. It will always dodge that. I missed my Razor Leaf. Are you serious right now? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And now it's... Oh no! It's leered me. It's leered me into a false sense of security. I don't know if Bone Ring only hits twice or if it has a chance to hit more than that. But I'm going to go and use a Lemonade. I thought 50 Lemonades was going to be enough to get me through this playthrough, but... It's looking like it's not going to be... Oh, that is not pleasant. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch out because I'm not... 
Seeing how much damage Bone Brain did, I'm actually not confident we can survive that. Let's go ahead and check out our defenses real quick. You have 57, 59, that's not bad. But I believe it's weak. This has 70? Ormando has 70 defense? And it's taking that kind of damage? Oh, and I'm pretty sure my entire team is basically weak to ground right now. That's bad. I just realized that I went from having a huge, cripplingly large psychic weakness to have a cripplingly large ground weakness. So I'm actually going to double switch back into Ormondo. Because I really just want to get rid of the Leer. <laughs> and then it fucking Leers me again. Does this thing only know Leer? I know it knows Bone Ring, but it's not going for it. So I'm going to go for Sleep Powder. I missed the Sleep Powder. I missed the Sleep Powder! Are you kidding me, man? Come on! Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got the Sleep Powder. So now this fight should be incredibly easy. Like, this shouldn't even be this difficult to start with. I mean, realistically, it's just a level 30 female Marowak. It's not even that difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a Leaf Seed on it, though. Just in case it can survive the Razor Leaf. And, uh, in case it wants to try hitting me at all, I can potentially heal up a little bit. Leaf Seed takes up, I believe, one eighth? One eighth of the, uh, the total HP of the Pokemon, I believe? I believe it's one eighth. It's either 1 8th or 1 16th. No, it's gotta be 1 8th because it does more than leftovers, and leftovers is 1 16th. So, yeah, it's 1 8th of the uh, opponent's total health. And it does survive the Razor Leaf, as it turns out. It can, in fact, live that quite well, in fact. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty good. This is why I love Marowak. Marowak is such a good, like, uh, first gen love! I don't know, like, a I don't know if first gen is my favorite generation, but there are so many cool Pokemon in first generation. It's just, I don't know. I'd have to like sit down one day and just like actually think about it. The mother spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Farewell. Farewell, Cubone's mother. Farewell. May you rest in peace. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually swap up our team a little bit, a little bit again. Go ahead and put Voltaire up front. Because we're about to encounter some more rocket grunts, and we all know what rocket grunts love to have. We all know. That's right, Zubat. The Zubat are easy pickings for a powerful Voltaire. So, I also need to like, it's gonna say, oh, and a Golbat, look at that. That is, uh, that is what Echo could have been if it had survived, if she had survived, it could have been this. My right foot is incredibly cold right now. Probably due to the fact that I've got a sock on my left foot and I don't have one on my right foot. I'm not gonna go into detail as to why that is. In fact, I'm just gonna ignore it. So let's continue on. I'm not gonna forget this. I don't really care if you do or not, really. This old guy marched up right to our hideout. Then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking it over as adults. That does sound like the right course of action. I mean, realistically, who am I to want? To, who am I as a child to get in? between this and stop this. As I was saying though, I actually do need to- wow, I didn't actually think I was going to be able to one-shot that popping with this. That is not bad at all. Let's go ahead and throw in Yip though, because again, Yip has our Dark-type move, and I fucking used the Fire-type move. We have a Dark-type move! Super effective against Psychic types! Let's go for the Fire move. Pokemon are only good for making money! Why not use them? You stay out of our business! I'd rather not. I have business with the old man. He has my rod and I need it. You're not saving anyone, kid. I think I've saved lots of people. I'm never gonna stop! That's what our character would sound like if our character could talk, I guess. I don't know. Ratata. It's gonna go down. Man, we're just sweeping through these guys right now. I was actually a little bit worried I was gonna be under level. Because I looked at... I looked ahead a little bit, like... I recalled, I, mean, I got a, actually a straight up strategy guide for this game from like 10 years ago. And I was just like flipping through the pages and I saw Sabrina. And I was like, she's got level 40 Pokemon. And I'm like, eh, whatever, fuck it, I'll just go. I think Marowak Spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House. His home is just straight up called Pokemon House. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House. At the foot of this tower. And the source of the music. 
Okay, let's actually move on. Mr. Fuji had been praying alone for Cubone's mother. Mr. Fuji. Pippin, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Pippin received a Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji. Pippin put the Poke Flute in the key item's pocket. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on a Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. AKA, the two Snorlax in, quote, the world, end quote. Coincidentally of which, one of which is down there. Coincidentally of which, one of which. Wow, I am terrible at English sometimes. Just like, horrible. Horrible. Anyway, I'm gonna come here real quick. And I can't buy Pokeballs anymore. Like, I can only buy Great Balls. I don't like Great Balls, but I guess I'll have to buy some. This is how they get you. This is how they get you, man. They, like, they re they restrict your ability to buy cheaper things. So they give you, the so you're forced to buy the expensive things. That's how business works. And, uh, okay, so I think that's gonna be good enough for, like, our ball situation. I have sufficient balls for now. So, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this off here. Next time, we're gonna go ahead and make our way to Fuchsia City. Uh, I'm probably gonna have... Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have anything grinded up for the next episode. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Fire at Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really does help me out. And I will see you guys on our journey to Fuchsia City. See ya!